and welcome to another Cyberpunk 2077 video. In this one I'm going to be looking at the mission The Heist, which is a very early mission in Cyberpunk. And I'm going to be showing all the known secrets, or at least all the known secrets that I am aware of, within the end of this mission. So the point that we're going to be showing here is once you reach the apartment itself in which you're looking for the relic. Now, before you trigger the mission, the first thing you're going to want to do is head to the bedroom on the right hand side of the apartment and pick up the iconic pistol from the bedside table. Now it's the same iconic pistol you may have spotted when you've done the brain dance at Judy's before coming on this mission. Now that weapon can be fully upgraded to legendary later on, so grab it. Then you'll be interrupted once you've triggered the mission uh, and told there is incoming, at which point you'll be told to hide with Jackie inside the TV unit. You'll watch the story unfold and then once that's done you'll be asked to exit and get ready to leave make sure you pick up saburu's dog tag from his corpse on the floor i didn't do this the first time around so the true relevance of this i will find out shortly now then t-bug will say you need to get to the back doors and she will attempt to hack them and get them open so you can run away before you're swamped with guards wait for t-bug to unlock these doors then turn back on yourself and then you want to head upstairs once you go upstairs it's not just that door that's been unlocked you'll also have this door unlocked which will allow you to get to the roof and on the roof you will take out first of all two guards now once you've taken out these two guards you will notice the airship on the left hand side that is closed so you want to go up to that and open it and uh, once opened you will spot the iconic katana on the left and a quest related data bank on the right hand side so again this weapon is in blue format rare but it can be fully upgraded to legendary once you have the crafting skill for that now as for this data bank you cannot grab it right now it is bugged for some reason but it is a quest related item as you can see from the icon now you can get back to this if you have double jump okay so if you've got double jump, if you've spent a lot of time playing through leveling up before you've started all your main missions, and you've got the double jump leg mod, you can get that after this next stage. So you'll continue to leave the building as normal, um, and then as you're aware, you'll be forced to jump down, slide down a roof, you'll fall through a skylight into a corridor or hallway below, uh, and then there'll be a short cinematic with Jackie. Then once you leave the doorway of that corridor and you are able to jump again, like so, you can then make your way backwards through that corridor up onto the roof to this data bank and then access it. You will need to hack this to unlock the information. At this point, it doesn't state what that's for. Secret, secret, secret. I'm sure there's a reason later on down the line, but if you can get this, get this. More to come. Now, continue to make your way out, and once you come to a point in a lobby where you're facing a mech, a giant mech, you will also notice a laptop in the lobby. Now, the laptop says it's locked and it needs a code, as you can see here. Like I say, this is in pretty much the end of the mission on the bottom floor in the lobby. Uh, you'll know if you're in this lobby because, like I say, you've just had a fight with a giant mech. Um, now, the way to unlock this is not with a code, it's simply close the laptop, then you jack in. Once you've breached the laptop, you can then reopen the laptop and you no longer need a code. You now have full access to the files and the messages on that laptop, which I'll let you see for yourself. At that point, you are now free to continue and leave. As far as I'm aware, that is all the known hidden goodies inside the mission. Now, this is an important one at the end. When you have to decide where to send Jackie's body, there's only one real option here, and that is take him home to his family. The reason you're going to choose this is because this unlocks a further quest line in a short while, which will allow you to then obtain Jackie's guns. Now, when you reach the very end of this mission, you have two options when it comes to decks, and that's to say you had no luck or give him the item. Now, this is my second playthrough. Uh, the first playthrough, I just gave him the item, and I regretted it afterwards because of what happened. So this time around, I chose no luck. 
Now, from what I've seen, the outcome is the same. The fate of Dex remains the same. What happens to you next in the quest is still the same. I do not think at this point that is a major game changer. If I'm wrong and you know I'm wrong, let me know in the comments about that. But as far as I'm aware, at that point of saying, yes, I have it or I've had no luck, there is no difference. But again, let me know if I am wrong. Now, as a last note in regards to the weapons, as all Iconics, there are multiple versions. Always click on the blueprint a couple of times, and as you can see, you'll see the stats on the right changing over and over and over, and you make sure you save your game at this point before you craft, and then once you've crafted, check the item and make sure you have the best version, which in this case was the five attacks per second rather than the 4.75. Um, other than that, you're done. I hope this was helpful. If it was, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.